Namaste. Hi. The techniques of Hatha Yoga are quite unique. They're prescribed to prepare the body, then open and purify the energetic channels within, increase the flow of energy through them, then channelize the energy to the higher centers, leading to the activation of the dormant centers in the brain. Then this will allow us to feel you know, the subtle components past uh, sensorial abilities. And we're gonna utilize this skill in meditation later on. So in summary, that's Satya Yoga, from the body to the energy to the spirit. At first, when you look at the techniques, they are simple. For example, this one, Gomukhasana, one of the classical Hatha Yoga postures. If we utilize this in conjunction with the Ashvini Mudra, the rhythmic contraction and relaxation of the pelvic floor, yeah, we can effectively stimulate the nerve clusters attached to the origin of the three fundamental nadis, the Ida, Pingala, and Shushumna, situated around the pit of the pelvic cavity, where the Kanda Nadi is, and close to the Muladhara Chakra. This is where these three fundamental nadis originate from. And this is where the primal force, the beige energy, the Kundalini, is resting in a dormant state. And then by increasing the activation there, we somehow pave way for the release of this dormant energy. All right. And then this three fundamental nadi shall branch out, right, left, and center, and they will intersect again inside the brain at the pituitary center, the pituitary gland. We call that the Ajna Chakra. So your pelvic floor has a direct connection to your cranial cavity, particularly the pituitary gland. So techniques which connect these two, this one, Ashvini, together with techniques activating the higher centers, yeah, the Ujjayi Pranayama, sense the vibration inside, the Nabhu Mudra, the sealing of the surface of the tongue against the heart palate and breathing the Ushaya Pranayama bypasses the lower centers and we directly stimulate the pituitary gland inside. The Shambhavi Mudra, where we either passively looking there at the dark spot, allow the eyes to magnetize the optic muscles, yeah, as well as you can do it with your eyes closed. The Nasagra Mudra, where you gaze down the tip of the nose. The Kachari Mudra, yeah, the, um, the tongue you know, you know, folding behind the uvula. So these are the techniques we use in activating the higher centers from the heart to the ajna. All right. And then when we do this in conjunction with this position, yeah. we somehow swiftly yeah, allow the energy to rise there, opening the channels there. Therefore, accepting the energy coming from the body to the brain. Right. So in Hatha Yoga, you may say, oh, Hatha Yoga is, is simple. There's no handstand, there's no headstand, there's no fancy postures. But a yogi who sits and then meditate upon those subtle dynamics within learned yeah, behind the scenes, so to speak, because the techniques are quite straightforward, but little we know, there are so many underlying components a yogi performs and masters before this assume the final essence or the intended purpose, which is to awaken, channelize, and prepare the mind for meditation. So yes, well, th with the many techniques around us, yes, our minds are drawn to them, attracted to them, myself included. Yeah. I love doing complex or well, fancy asana, you might want to call that. I love handstand, I love headstand, I love those deep back bends, but I always return here. Yeah. 
where I just sit, yeah, do my breathing exercise. And this actually takes the big chunk of my practice and meditate later.